Hey everybody, back with a new episode of Babylon 5. Last episode, we found out what really happened with the president, Sackhorse behind it. They put the VP in the position to now become president. That's a mess. Londo is the spy for Morden. He's already done a lot to Leonard and doesn't seem to feel bad about it, which sucks. Uh, the Lynn is awake and, you know, has her new look. She knew about all the changes. And, uh, I just don't know what it means now that this is what she looks like. Um, uh, I'm excited to get back into it, see what else. This, this particular episode titled The Geometry of Shadows sounds very ominous, but it makes me think of Morden's people or species or whatever. Uh, Jakar thinks it's something very old, and I think it is too. He said it could be possibly a new race, but I, th I think this is an old thing that we're dealing with. Uh, it may not be what this is about, but that's what it's given me with those spider-like ships or... I don't even know if that's what they are, but their presence, it's very shadowy and I don't know. I'm very nervous about where everything is now. Like change has been a huge part of this season already and we're, we're only on episode three. So I'm excited to get back into it. I'm still, you know, adapting to all of this newness. Um, but it was a good episode last one with, uh, Sheridan we learned his past and his wife who had died where he you know blamed himself but he got a resolution to that he wasn't directly responsible for her being where she was and I'm excited to know more about him get used to him being the commander uh but yeah let's get into this episode don't feel thing ow hey hey hey, hey. you are being cranky and difficult <laughs> you try getting shot in the back sometime and see what it does for your disposition Sinclair, I could trust this guy. I don't know. You don't mind my saying. I'm so glad that he feels this way. I'm excited when I mentioned going back to work. I just don't know if I'm any damn use to anybody anymore. Oh, careful. You know, I keep asking myself what qualifies me to take back my job, and I haven't got an answer. The Emperor is old, sick, and frightened. So what are you going to do? Figure. His health is failing rapidly. There will be resistance from the old guard. Overcoming that resistance may require force. What you are asking could be considered treason. Yeah. Or the it first is. step in restoring our people to their rightful place in the galaxy. But we have a great deal of work ahead of us. Wando. He is walking a dangerous path right now. Oh my god. Purple versus green? What's the problem? We have no, no. brought them back home long ago. They use science to achieve the effect of magic. I have decided that it is time for you to start learning the fine art of diplomacy. <laughs> you could handle the low priority conflicts would help me to focus on the other problems. Commander. Hey. I pushed through the paperwork the day after I got here. Thank you. She'll now be your great. Your job will be to find a peaceful solution to the Drazi problem. Okay? I believe there are currents in the universe eddies and tides that that pull us one way or the other some we have to fight some we have to embrace unfortunately the currents that we have to fight look exactly like the currents we have to embrace yeah it's hard the, the currents <laughs> that we think are the one that's going to make us stronger they're the ones that are going to destroy us and the ones that we think are going to destroy us they're the ones that are going to make us listen stronger. to veer veer no i will consult them it will have considerable influence back home to them. Be careful. Arrange it. I'll be in my quarters. Londo, ah. I really don't think I want to do this. Londo. Liquid courage. Oh, no. <laughs> I would be foolish to throw away a valuable resource without at least trying to work together. Good. I need someone I can trust running security. I'd like it to be you. Green. That's, no, I understand that there are no, two factions, it. but what is your point of contention? Purple. 
cream. <laughs> yes, but who gets it's to wear the purple simple. sash? And who gets to wear the green sash? I mean, is it based on income or caste or rank? Or... We put green and purple in great barrel, equal to numbers of drossies. Well, then how do you choose a leader for either side? One purple and one green carries mark of leadership. He who takes leader cloth is leader. He who takes green is green and follows green leader. He who takes purple <laughs> is purple and follows purple leader. <gasps> oh my god. Well, yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh! I'm here on behalf of Ambassador Malaris. And I need to speak to someone who is in charge. Obviously, it would be at your earliest convenience. <laughs> What the hell? Oh, this is the program. Okay. You don't frighten easily. If I go back without a yes, the personal consequences will be profoundly unfortunate. <laughs> and if you try to force us to walk where we do not choose to walk, the consequences will even be more unfortunate. Yeah, I imagine so. Your foot is broken in three places. <gasps> What's your next move? Other than sticking the Drazi in a ship and firing it into the sun? <laughs> Other than that, yes. We've got pretty banged up there. If you want to give it a day or two... No. Perhaps they will come to someone else. Someone they can't ignore. I'll be right back. Oh, who are you going to now? Look, we bought a cake, all right? It's been sitting there for two days now. Are you kidding me? You pass up a cake for two days? What's the deal? What have you done with a real Lou Welch, huh? Hey, security! Security over here! We got another guy with a chainsaw! <laughs> okay, okay. We've got another Drossy fight in round three. Code blue. Jeez. On my way. Only you went to the commander? Reputation. I've never seen one before. I wasn't really sure they even existed before now. Earth wants more information before letting them go, so this is as good an opportunity as any. I'll set up a meeting. I'm pleased, Captain, that our first discussions have gone so smoothly. I'm looking forward to many more in the future. Watch this out, Wando. He seems already suspicious of you. Make my day and tell me this stupid fighting is over with. Just the opposite. The Greens up the ante. They started killing purpose, not just hurting. Uh-uh. Have the local Drazi heard about this yet? I don't know. For I what? Need a tactical squad. I need it now. On the way. Well, there are an awful lot of you here, over a hundred according to security. Mm -hmm. And you refuse to tell Earth Central where you're going? We have a right to go where we wish, when we wish. Sorry to be late, gentlemen. I was unavoidably detained. Matters of state. Uh-huh. You understand. What are you doing? I by the sense of joy permeating the rule. Oh! My name is Koto, <laughs> diplomatic attaché to Ambassador Landa Malari of the Centauri Republic. My you can't fuck with a mage, man. An audience. <laughs> you were saying, <laughs> recalling a conversation, a very low thing to do. I offer the hands of friendship. I accept. I assume you will not take advantage of this gesture or misrepresent it as some sort of endorsement. Of course not. Of course he will. <gasps> Did he take a picture? Business, condemning my recording device while using one of your own. My apologies. You were getting too big for your fridges. I apologize for and that way incident out of with pocket. Ambassador Malari, but there are still some questions that I need answered. There is a storm black and terrible storm we know we would not have our knowledge lost or used to good purpose from this place we will launch ourselves into the stars wow with luck you will never see our kind again in your lifetime orange blossom cool but also we got a big storm coming would you prefer we murder humans Look, I came here to help. Don't murder at all. Murder, we take help. You will stay here until we are done. The <gasps> now we finish this our way. Did you talk to her? No, the master said no. she was going to be offline for a while. Look, I gotta go. This is why we I need you. What was she last time you talked to her? Alien sector. Uh, round two. Go. If there's anybody in here who needs a little help, just say the word and I'm here. Yes. 
Valhalla demon that's possessed my data system. That's what you get. Records, personal files, everything. Th th that hideous sound is not optimal. <laughs> That is what you get. Yes. Congratulations. I mean, you're fighting and dying over a stupid piece of cloth. But there's nothing special about it. It's not patriotic. You're the leader. With this stupid little star in the middle of it. I'm saying this because I'm holding this right now. I'm green leader. But I'm human. Rules of combat older than contact with other races. Did not mention aliens. Wow. Well, you know what? Hello. They really beat them at their own game there. <laughs> I am to die. Well, All conflicts here just need I'm to be to see that you are reasonably managed. An understanding group. You still got little demons on you. When somebody tells me we get a message from Ivanova, I don't believe it until I get it from her point blank. So in other words, you're perfect for the job because you're paranoid and compulsive. Honestly? Who told you to say that? <laughs> Sheridan, yeah. talk to me. I'm afraid you're going to have to spend the rest of your life paying for your mistakes. Not this one, of course. Yeah, it's you true. got some bigger I ones to deal with. Spell, but there will be others. The hand is your head. And I hear sounds. The sounds of Billions of people calling your name. My followers? Your victims. Oh, oh, take that to heart. The ship carrying the techno mages is requesting permission to leave. Part of me says we'll not see their leg again. And the part of me that still believes in magic. Okay, well, those mages were very interesting very wise in taking themselves out of the equation the equation that they know too well because they calculate everything and know what is on the horizon and uh if we don't prevail if goodness doesn't prevail then they don't want their information what they can offer to be used that's good of them and it would be cool if we could overcome this and see them again believe in that magic and i do i do think that we can overcome this but uh man londo is killing me he is really full of himself right now and is positioning himself but he's also opening himself up to vulnerability because if anybody finds out what he's doing, who he's in bed with, he is going to look as bad as he truly is being right now. That mage telling him billions of victims, that should haunt him already. That's so scary. Oh, Londo, don't be this person. But it makes sense that they're wanting him to be in even more of a position to, I guess, just fully be emperor. But you can't be that and also in bed with the darkness, Morden. I really hope this was a, a, an awakening for him to realize the position he's putting himself in, but I don't know. I definitely think that what that Technomage said to him will stick with him, but I don't know if it's enough to get him off this course, but maybe it's, you know, it's something. Uh, but even if he comes to realize that he needs to stop doing this, I don't know how he gets out of Morden's pocket. Because then he could just say, like, he could tell the truth on you. So, what are you, what are you going to do? What are you prepared to lose? But it was good to see him get some consequences for his meddling. You cannot fuck with a techno mage. Come on. 
<laughs> having to listen to Narn Opera is hilarious. <laughs> and poor Veer. Just having to do whatever Londo wants, even though that was never going to work. Well, you know, I, I'm very happy that Sheridan gave Ivanova a promotion. So she's a commander. He's a captain. I guess I'll have to make that distinction now. But uh, her first task was a doozy, although it ended up fixing itself rather easily. Uh, what a silly, silly custom to just randomly pick a color and then fight. It ended up being to the death. Like, I thought it was just, you know, scuffle. But they ended up killing some. So, what a, what a silly thing. They didn't question it at all. And it's not like Ivanova got to them, made them see reason. No, she just got lucky taking the leadership color and they did whatever she wanted. So I'm assuming they're going to do the same on the other side. So they just won't fight each other. And uh, you know what? It fixed it. So yay. But I'm also glad that Garibaldi stepped in and found his reason to keep being part of the, or being the leader of the security. Uh, I understand him wanting to, are feeling like he was maybe not useful anymore because of, you know, what's recently happened to him and all the changes. But like clearly here, like his experience, his instinct, he he has a lot to offer and he knows Ivanova really well. That really worked out. And I'm glad that Sheridan wants him there as much as I do. Um, Garibaldi has a lot of value. So I'm glad he believes that again now because um, we need him if we're going to take on whatever it is that's coming down the pike. But uh, this was definitely a worrisome episode with the, the what we've heard, what we keep hearing about what's coming. And I really hope Londo heard that guy really heard him. Billions of victims. Goodness. Man. Well, I think things are starting to feel a little bit back to normal as much as they can with all the changes that we've had, which I'm happy about. I need some normalcy after everything. And, uh, this was this was a good episode, uh, you know, a lot of, a lot of little silliness here and there, but undercurrents of just like real real problem and uh, some scary stuff. So I just hope I'm not gonna lose faith in Londo. I I know he's made some ill advised decisions here recently. But I, I, I believe in him. I believe that he can turn it around. I believe he has a heart. We've seen it before. And uh, I want him to know. I, I think Veer gave him great, I don't know if it was advice, but just hearing Veer's outlook on fate and uh, going in the way that you don't, think you should is actually the right move. I think the right move for Londo is to get in good with Jakar. I think they have to be aligned to go against this darkness, but I, I just feel like he's so far away from that. I don't know how we get there, but uh, man, please, please stop grabbing for power and uh this should be a lesson for him that uh the way he's comporting himself is a detriment to himself in the long term but uh he's really full of himself right now so i hope he can see that i hope it's not going to take some catastrophe for him to finally wise up even though, like, he's already been responsible for a lot of Narn deaths. 
So it's already pretty dire. But uh, I enjoyed this episode. I'm excited to see where we're going from here. Getting Garibaldi back in the groove is good. Ivanova getting a promotion is good. I'm I'm warming up to Sheridan. And yeah, things are things are going okay for now, but this ever looming darkness is always just looming. So I'm always kind of on edge about it. So yeah, good episode. So thanks for watching guys. I'll be back soon.